What's up guys, McCaddy here, and today we guys, a brand new team build video, what we're going to be doing is building a team around Mega Alakazam. Now, I made one, uh, probably a couple of months ago, but unfortunately, it paired really well with Goth Tell, and that was the whole concept of the team, and then literally, the day I made the team, and we re recorded the live, Goth Tell got banned. Well, the Shadow Tag ability got banned, so I had to try and work on a way to actually improve it. And uh, I never got around to doing it. So I want to do a team builder based around Mega Alakazam. I want to go for quite an offensive one. Because I think that's what Alakazam suits really, really well. So if you guys are excited for this. And also looking forward to the live on Wednesday. Don't forget to leave a like down below. I would really, really appreciate it. So the set I decided to go for here is a set with Psy Shock, Shadow Ball, Focus Blast, and Substitute. Those three moves have really nice coverage. Allows me to hit opposing Psychic types hard. Steel types hard. And then finally Psy Shock allows us to hit the Blobs relatively hard not the best in the world but still very very useful we have got uh max speed on there complete max speed which is really really nice we get to get reach i think it's 150 speed when we mega up which is really really nice and uh, our special attack also goes through the roof uh let's have a look yeah we got 175 special attack 150 speed which is really really nice the traceability as well allows us to uh sort of abuse certain things you know really well like landrasses we get levitate um Loads and loads of different examples, but uh, hopefully that's going to be useful later on. So, what we now need to think about is a team member or set of team members that work really well with Alakazam. Now, I know normally go for thinking about a wall court and stuff like that, but this is going to be a very offensive team, so I need to have a think about a partner that works offensively really well with uh, Alakazam. Obviously, Alakazam has problems with Bishop, uh, but we do have the sub for the Bishops. So it's not the worst thing in the world, and also the Blobs. <laughs> If you don't know what the blobs are, it's basically Chansey and Blissey. So, I was having a think about a good member of the, for, to go with Alakazam. And I think Terrakion is the best way to go here. So, we can go for a Life Orb set. Now, this is going to be a Double Dance Terrakion, I think. Because this guy allows us to handle offensive teams. We, if we can get that Rock Polish off. That's really nice. If, we, if, they become, if we face a, a Stool team, we can get that Swords Dance off and we'll be Wall Breaking. So, it's really, really versatile and really, really powerful. So we're going to go for a set with a Jolly Nature. Uh, we just want Close Combat and also Stone Edge. Gives us really nice overall neutral coverage from there, which is really, really good. We obviously have to deal with Stone Edge misses, but, you know, sometimes you've got to deal with those. <laughs> so uh, this will allow us to handle offensive teams and also uh, very defensive teams as well. Alakazam handles offense teams really, really well because it outspeeds a lot of them and can oko a lot of things. So Terrakin will help us a lot with uh, the more defensive ones, which Alakazam struggles with a little bit. Now, one thing I'm noticing so far is we're having trouble with um, Dark types still to an extent, but most notably um, Mega Sableye and stuff like that. Mega Sableye I always hate having to deal with. We also don't have a special wall breaker as well. I, I treat Alakazam more as like a a fast offensive mom rather than a wall breaker so one pokemon that could pair really well with this team uh would be the sylveon now i know sylveon doesn't get too much love right now but um it's still i still think it's a very very good mod especially the choice spec set because this allows us to bop so many things and hit really really hard so we're going to go for a modest nature there with 72 in speed i think that's the standard smogon set with uh hyper voice we need to make sure we're picked late. Hyper Voice. Um, let's go for Hidden Power Fire. Um, and then finally, the uh, Psy Shock as well. So that allows us to hit lots of things really, really hard, which is really, really nice. And then finally, the uh, Baton Pass as well. So let's go for that. Then moving on, um, let's have a think. So we've got a really nice offensive core going on. We've got some fast offense. We've got uh, a nice wall breaker and a really good answer to make a save lie, which our, our team currently struggles a little bit with. So that's really, really nice. So we need to have a think about maybe some more bulky mons. Um, let's have a think. So we need to think of a really good uh, sort of semi-offensive wall core that could pair really well. One, one core that's quite an old core, I think this is Gen 5, uh, is the, uh, the classic Scizor Rotom core. But I want to kind of reinvent it a little bit, where we're going to go for a Choice Banded Scizor instead. So Choice Band set with Technician, Bullet Punch, that gives us some priority because um, things like Deancey might be a little bit of a problem outside of Alakazam, obviously. Um, so that gives us a really good answer to that, it gives us some priority. 
ways to hit really, really hard. We can go for U-turn on there. Um, Pursuit as well allows me to hit the uh, Latte Twins really hard. We have got kind of a switch in with Sylveon, but uh, we have to watch out for those side shocks. And then finally, uh, Bullet Punch, U-turn, Pursuit, and I think Superpower is our best way to go here. We're going to go for max HP, max attack. So it's a very, very bulky set. I apologize if you can hear something going in the back. That's our boiler. Um, so we're going to go for an Adamant set there. Uh, the last eight in speed, just for a tiny bit of speed creeping. Now, the Rotom set, I think a physically defensive set works best for the team. We've got good special bulk with the Sylveon, so I think that's going to work better. So we're going to go for 252 with a bold nature there, with uh, 248 in HP. Last, oh, actually, no, we're not putting any in speed, and we're going to go for that 31 trick. Uh, sorry, 30 trick that I like to go for. So the 30 trick, basically what it does is you always outslow other Rotom, because nothing I hate more is Volt Switching, getting that Volt Switch off first and going, great, he's going for his own Volt Switch. He's going to then be able to Volt, you know, anything I go into, he's going to Volt Switch out, and, you know, you know, basically my initiative is wasted. So by doing that, Rotom takes the Volt Switch. It's going to take it okay. Um... Not the best in the world, it, it works best with a Spadef set, but uh, I still think it's really useful. Um, and it means that basically every time we face another Rotom, we're guaranteed to get the slow Voltage off, which I think is much more valuable than getting a slightly faster one. So we're going to go for Hydro Pump Volt Switch. Uh, definitely going to go for Will-O-Wisp, because that helps a lot. And then finally Pain Split. I'm not a big fan of Resto Chester Rotom, I must admit, especially with knockoffs prevalency in the tier. I think it just works a lot better overall. So this is really, really nice. One problem I'm currently seeing, though, is we have a huge weakness to Megazard X. Megazard X kind of shuts our entire team down, especially after one Dragon Dance. Uh, it can set up on a lot of things as well. So I think what we're going to have to go for is a Landorus T as our choice Scarfer. Because uh, that guy can handle a plus one Charizard um, relatively well. I think we can take a hit, and then obviously Earthquake will be able to shut that guy down. So we're going to go for Earthquake, uh, U-Turn. Uh, we haven't got rocks on this team. That's the only thing. Um, so the question is, do we go for a slightly different tracking set? Let's have a look. Um, uh, Stealth Rock, Close Combat, Stone Edge, and Taunt. That might be the better way to go. Um, I think that's our way to go here. Because we do need that Scarf Landorus uh, going on there. And that gives us a good counter lead. We can taunt stuff, which is really, really nice. Um... I think that's how we're going to go. And then finally, uh, Earthquake U-Turn. Let's see, what do, they, what do they normally run? Do they run Superpower? I can't remember. Um, Earthquake. Oh no, this is the Focus Sash. Choice Scarf. Stone Edge, Knock Off, Superpower, Explosion, U-Turn. Okay, I like the look of Knock Off because we do not have a Knock Off user. And then finally, uh, Stone Edge. Uh, with max, uh, max Attack and then Max Speed in there. With a Jolly Nature, should be the better way to go there. So I think that's everything so far. We've got a, a nice sort of semi-defensive core. We've got, um, obviously, only one ground weakness though, which Landorus and also Rotom patch up. Some good synergy. Alakazam is sort of like a late game cleaner for this team. So overall, I think this team should work really well. Uh, I just need to make sure to get rid of the uh, IVs in attack. So basically, I get rid of the IVs there in case of uh, foul plays and stuff like that. Basically, foul plays just do a lot less from there if they're special attackers. So I think we're going to wrap up from there. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Uh, we will be doing a live stream, as I said, on Wednesday. So don't forget to go and check that out. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like. Let me know how to improve the team. And I will see you guys at the next one. McCaddy out.